Next, let's talk about the ongoing push in schools to not only indoctrinate our children, but to also push overt sexualization when kids should just be kids. It's happening again, and this time it's through a so-called learning app that promotes radical gender identity as part of the school curriculum. Here's the story. A reading software application used in schools nationwide teaches kindergartners about little boys who wear dresses, little girls who use boys' bathrooms, and pride parades. Epic, a reading and learning app, has more than 40,000 books, 106 of which promote LGBT sexuality to children under 12. Moms for Liberty chapter leader Robin Steenman said organizations push LGBT books on children because kids quickly swallow information. It's a lot easier to indoctrinate a kindergartner than it is a college student, she said. If you do this in kindergarten, you're going to have a 99% success rate because they're just absolutely defenseless. She's certainly right about that, but this push to over-sexualize little kids is extending far beyond schools. As you know, the fashion house Balenciaga is under fire for their recent ad campaign in which children were at center stage. The first gift collection campaign featured photos of children holding handbags that looked like teddy bears wearing leather harnesses and spiked collars with wine glasses near in some of the shots. The second campaign featured an office theme which included a photo with a page from a Supreme Court ruling of United States versus Williams in the background. That ruling deemed the promotion of child pornography illegal and not protected under freedom of speech. What is going on here? These people actually thought it was cool to use a Supreme Court case on child pornography as a setting for their holiday campaign? Of course, Balenciaga is now claiming that they didn't know what was going on, and the company is blaming the ad agency. That's such a bogus defense, but friends, this assault against children continues. According to a story in the Daily Mail, thousands of convicted pedophiles in California have been released from prison after only spending less than a year in prison. Using California's Megan's Law website, the Daily Mail found that there were more than 7,000 sex offenders convicted of lewd or lascivious acts with a child under 14 years of age, but released from prison in under a year of being convicted. All these examples remind us that it is up to all of us to ensure that children can be children and grow up in safety and love. The agenda of the left is just disgusting. All right, friends, thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And before you go, please hit that subscribe button above. Once you do, tell your friends, share it, spread the word about the 13-minute news hour so we can keep growing. And for more great content, check out these videos right here, and I'll see you next time.